7 23 2024 we're in taigong's six secret teachings chapter six dog secret teaching martial chariot workers king wu asked taigong how do i select chariot warriors taigong answered here are the standards select those who are under 40 years old and taller than six foot they can keep up with a galloping horse and jump on a charging chariot they can ride forward and back left and right up and down on the chariot they can hold flags draw an eight pike crossbow and shoot to the left, right, front, or rear skillfully. These men are called martial chariot warriors. They should be given generous rewards. Martial cavalry warriors. King Wu asked Saigong, how do I select cavalry warriors? Saigong said, here are the standards. Select men who are under 40 and taller than six foot. They are exceptionally strong and nimble. They can ride a galloping horse and shoot a crossbow on the horse. They can ride a horse forward, back, left, and right. They can jump over ditches and hills, charge towards dangerous and difficult roads, cross wide rivers, and chase strong and numerous enemies. They are called martial cavalry warriors. They should be given generous rewards. It's very interesting that he's saying over six foot, and they're the same standards for each, being under 40 years old. And so being nimble, being six foot, being athletic, knowing what your capabilities are and where to employ these warriors i think is just kind of the the main theme on this reading is that it is to be looked at as far as putting people in the strengths of what they have been given as gifts chariot warfare king wu asked saigong how do i deploy chariots saigong said the essence of infantry warfare lies in the understanding of changing situations the essence of chariot warfare lies in the understanding of terrains. The essence of cavalry warfare lies in the understanding of unusual routes and shortcuts. These three armies share a name, but the method of their deployment varies. There are ten fatal terrains and eight advantageous situations. King Wu asked, what are the ten fatal terrains? Taigong said, when there is only a path to advance and no turning back, this is the fatal land for chariots. When crossing narrow passes and obstacles to chase the enemy, this is the land of exhaustion for chariots. When the land ahead is flat and smooth, but the rear is tricky and dangerous, this is the land that traps chariots. When trapped in dangerous terrain, that is difficult to escape from, this is the land of desperation. When the land is collapsing and muddy and marsh, this is the land of hardship. When the land on the left is difficult and the right is flat and the chariots need to climb over a hill, this is the land of adversity. When the land is covered with grass and chariots need to cross deep water, this is the land of obstacles. When chariots are few in number, the terrain is flat and cavalry do not coordinate well, this is the land of failure. When there are ditches to the rear, deep waters to the left, and high hills to the right, this is the chariot's land of destruction. When it rains heavily for days, roads are destroyed, and chariots can neither advance nor retreat, this is the land of sinking. These are the ten failed terrains for chariots. An ignorant general will be defeated and captured if he does not understand their dangers. A wise one can avoid them and gain victory. So avoiding certain terrains and certain situations is the key to victory. But if you're negligent, or ignorant and you allow yourself to be caught in the rain or stuck between two mountains or advance down a road that you can't turn back from this is all fatal grounds right this is all mistakes that can lead you to be defeated King Wu asked what are eight advantageous situations to which Taigong replied when the enemy's front and rear formations are not settled assault them with chariots when the enemy's flags are chaotic and the soldiers and horses are constantly moving strike them with chariots when some of the enemy's soldiers move forward and some go back, some move to the left and some move to the right, penetrate them with chariots. When the enemy's lines are not solid and soldiers glance fearfully at each other, strike at them. When the enemy are hesitant to advance and fearful to go back, penetrate with chariots. When the enemy's entire army becomes terrified and chaotic, penetrate them with chariots. When the army engage in battle with you on flat terrain and the battle is yet to be finished by sunset, strike at them. When the enemies march a long distance, set up camp in the dark, and their three armies are terrified and uneasy, strike them with chariots. These eight situations are all advantageous in chariot warfare. When a general knows the ten fatal terrains and eight advantageous situations, even if the enemy surround you from four directions, attack you with a thousand chariots and ten thousand cavalry, and assault your flanks, you can win each battle. King Wu said, brilliant. Okay, I like this because it's like, no matter what, as long as you observe the situation, and a lot of it is just like, penetrate with chariots, just attack. When you see the opportunity to attack, you take it. When you see the opportunity out, you take it. You immediately do what's in the best interest of surviving another day, of taking the advantageous terrain and using it against you. Even if you feel like the enemy, the counterpart, has a 100,000 times the, the men that you do, you can still win by moving ahead and staying the course. 